Hi, I'm Dr. Don Clausen, inventor and owner of the ProDental brand of mouth guards and teeth whitening products. In this video, I will go through the steps on how to fit the ProDental Thin and Trim Ultra Comfort Dental Guards. But before we get started, I want to give you a few tips to ensure a good snug fit. Normally, with an average size adult mouth, the Ultra Comfort Dental Guards before molding will extend slightly beyond the second molar which is the back molar if you're missing your wisdom teeth. And the borders of the mouth guard will extend slightly beyond the gum line. Then after molding the mouth guard, it'll shrink about 20% so that it will cover half of the second molar, which will adequately protect the teeth from grinding and clenching. The borders usually end up right at the gum line, but depending on how you push against the walls when molding, the borders can end up extending a quarter of an inch or more above the gum line. Since the walls of the Ultra Comfort Dental Guard are very thin, if they do extend beyond the gum line, it will usually still be a comfortable fit. But for those individuals who are used to wearing a very thin dentist fabricated mouth guard, or an Invisalign type whitening tray that does not extend beyond the gums, then the mouth guards can be pre-trimmed before molding so that the borders of the walls extend just 1 16th inch beyond the gum line. Pre-trimming instructions are included with the set you receive and are printed on this yellow half sheet of paper. Before you get ready to mold and fit the mouth guards, be sure to read the fitting instructions that came with your mouth guards to review the steps presented in this video. In those fitting instructions, it recommends to insert the mouth guard at an angle so that the ends of the mouth guard are over the first molars. This will help ensure that the walls do not fold over when placing the mouth guard on the teeth. Then after you insert it at an angle, slide the mouth guard back and rotate it up so that it covers all the teeth. Make sure that the center notch on the mouth guard lines up between the two front teeth. Then close your mouth and suck out all the water and air from the mouth guard, but do not bite down. If you bite down, it'll place indentations in the bottom side of the mouth guard that faces the biting surfaces of the lower teeth. Those indentations will interfere with the side-to-side -side movement when grinding your teeth in your sleep. Most people who grind their teeth also tend to clench while sleeping, and if there are indentations in the base of the mouth guard, it will lock your jaw into a set position which can cause muscle discomfort and TMJ-like symptoms. As, you see, as you'll see when I demonstrate the molding and fitting of the mouth guard, I will be using my fingers underneath my lips to push directly against the outer walls of the mouth guard, while simultaneously using my thumbs to push against the inner walls and base of the mouth guard. This technique will help form a good impression of the side surfaces of the teeth, where you can see a clear outline of each individual tooth which is key to having a snug fit. When you use your thumbs to also push against the base or bottom of the mouth guard, this will help form a thin uniform base so that you'll be able to easily close your lips around the mouth guard. One final note, timing is very important when molding the mouth guards. If you allow more than five seconds from when you remove the mouth guard from the hot water and place it on your teeth, then the material will cool down and not form a good impression of the teeth. This sounds like a short amount of time, but it is not hard to duplicate if you follow what will be demonstrated in just a few moments. So without further ado, let's get started. You will need the following items to mold and fit the mouth guards. A large wooden spoon, preferably slotted to allow the water to drain out when removing the mouth guard from the hot water a pan that is at least three inches deep with water filled to within an inch of the top, a paper towel preferably set on top of a warm plate so that the mouth guard does not cool down between transferring it from the hot water to your mouth, and a small mirror. The mouth guard should be cleaned with an antibacterial soap before beginning the fitting process. Next boil the water in a pan that is at least three inches deep and do not use a microwave to boil the water as it can sometimes superheat the water and make the mouth guard melt in just a few seconds. 
after the water comes to a boil, turn off the burner and remove it from the heat and let it set about 10 seconds. Before I demonstrate the next couple of steps, I want to describe them to you so that you will know the details of what is happening while watching the video. I will use the uh, slotted wooden spoon to place the mouth guard in the water and keep the spoon underneath the, the mouth guard while it's heating in the hot water. Depending on the uh, size of the pan and uh, used to boil the water and your altitude above sea level, the walls may start to curl at less than 10 seconds. Best results are obtained by lifting the mouth guard from the hot water as soon as the walls curl slightly together. Overheating the mouth guard beyond this point may cause the walls to fold over completely and stick together. If that happens, it's best to start over with another mouth guard in the set and remove it from the water a few seconds sooner. As soon as I remove the mouth guard from the water, I will set it on the warm paper towel and spread the inside and outside walls of the mouth guard slightly apart so there's enough room for my teeth inside. Sometimes uh, when the walls start to curl they will lean in and almost touch each other so it's important that you keep the walls uh, separated enough when you put it on your teeth that they don't fold over. I will now demonstrate these steps including the molding and fitting process. Okay, the water's boiling so we'll remove it from the burner. Put the mouth guard on the slotted wooden spoon, put it in the pan, try to keep it centered in the pan there so it doesn't touch the edges. The walls are starting to curl now, just in a second more, and now we'll remove it. The walls are curled in. Oops. <laughs> so now we'll set it on the paper towel and we'll slightly move the walls apart. Go ahead and place it on the teeth. If you notice, I kept pressing for about 20-30 seconds. Got a good impression on the inside of the mouth guard here. So even though we got a, a good impression, it um, didn't feel quite as snug as I'd like to have it. So I'm going to put it back in the uh, hot water here for about 5 seconds. When I take it out, it's softened it just enough that I can squeeze the walls just a little closer together and just submerge it in the cold water while I'm squeezing the walls together. And this will end up making the mouth guard just a little bit narrower. So I'm going to fit it back on my teeth. And now it feels really snug. I had to use my fingers to flick it off before it just um, my tongue would take it off. So oh, that's just the way we like to have it. As with fitting any thermoplastic mouth guard on your teeth, it may take a little practice to get the best fit. Normally the mouth guards can be reheated several times if you need to adjust or improve the fit. If however a mouth guard becomes mismolded, we will replace it free of charge. 
I hope you found this video helpful and I appreciate the time you spent watching it. If you need any help or have any questions about the fitting process, please contact me by email at support at mkcproducts.com. I'm also available to provide technical support by phone at 816-651-4567 and I'm always glad to help. Those numbers and contact information are printed by the way on your fitting instructions. Well thank you again for purchasing the Pro Dental Ultra Comfort Dental Guards.